It's July on the island of Guam, and the full moon triggers something amazing on the coral reefs. It's spawning season, and the corals are ready to reproduce all at once in a sensational event. Between seven and nine nights following the late summer full moon, millions of coral egg and sperm packets known as gametes will be released into the water column by dozens of coral species. Using specialized technologies, divers are able to collect these gametes from specific coral colonies and fertilize large quantities of genetically unique larvae for coral reef restoration projects. This year's spawning event drew coral reef managers from across the Pacific Ocean and beyond for a coral restoration workshop at the University of Guam's Marine Laboratory. Here, a team from Seacor International is training those managers to effectively rear coral larvae. Their efforts to implement these techniques around the world have brought them to the Pacific. It's really the first of these that we've done since the new iteration of the implementation program out here in the Pacific. And is really one of the first chances we have to introduce particularly folks from the U.S. jurisdictions to the type of work we do. The hope is that this is the, the, the start, the foundation of a, a larger capacity building program that we're hoping to manage out here in the Pacific. Since 1970, the University of Guam's Marine Lab has played an important role in marine research. Today, they are helping to create a network of Pacific Island Reef Restoration Specialists. I think people generally want to have a network of Pacific Island practitioners in recognition that each group has its own challenges and its own strengths but a lot of the strengths and challenges are shared and we're at different stages in our evolution of our science here so we can lean on each other we can share information we can strengthen capacity in each other's regions sponsored by the national marine sanctuary foundation the goal is to build capacity for coral reef restoration in the u.s pacific region all four of the jurisdictions have been working on their individual restoration plans over the last couple of years, and this money was meant to go directly into these organizations to help them build capacity in any way that they set their priorities to, to help them implement restoration in the field in their jurisdictions. Participants from Guam, Saipan, American Samoa, and Hawaii all came together to share experiences and learn new techniques to assist with coral reef restoration efforts in their local waters. I think one of the biggest benefits of this was we're all learning that like people from different jurisdictions are all learning the same thing and we're making connections with each other and we're getting to, to learn all of these things together um, and sort of build those relationships. So that has been very helpful. I really enjoyed meeting like the people from the other islands because now I feel like if I have a question that I feel like they might know, I can I have a way to like reach out and contact them and I'm comfortable enough to be like, hey, like what is this? Like do you like do you know how to work with this or whatever? This workshop provided me with a very intimate experience with coral, baby coral, because I've never seen them at those initial steps in life. And so seeing this and experiencing this for the first time with this workshop. It has been a very valuable experience for me. I have met some new friends from the other Pacifics, from Saipan, like Guam, and people from Florida, and South California. In the future, like we were, when they come to visit American Samoa, like we have that uh, relationship and the trust between them, like how we work together. Working at the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology, uh, there's tons of energy and people who are interested in it, but it's, it's one place. And so when you get out and you visit other marine institutes and you work with other organizations, um, you get to really have some new life breathed into you. There's definitely some reinvigoration that I've felt while being here. Participating in these trainings is always 
uh, a refreshing experience. I love the opportunity that we have to bring together people from different backgrounds, um, in this case from different jurisdictions, islands. Being able to see that collaboration and casual conversations amongst them, it makes me feel really happy.